So in this video, I'm going to help you decide whether the AirPods Pro are worth it or not, or if you should just skip out on them because they aren't worth it. So firstly, the case. The case is practically the same size as the AirPods case. It has the same satisfying click and is overall just a little bit wider and if you flip it a little bit taller than the AirPods case. It's really small and portable just like the original AirPods case and will definitely suit you if you're trying to put them in your pocket and take them around with you to whatever classes you need to take them to. However, with the AirPods Pro case, you're going to find that putting the AirPods back into the case is a little bit more of a hassle I found and not as satisfying as the original AirPods. Now this may not necessarily be a con, it's just something worth mentioning that the case is a little bit different in that regard. However, it's still portable, reliable, and just as good as the original AirPods case. Now, in terms of the body and the build, it actually improved a lot over the original AirPods. If you saw my AirPods review, then you know that I had trouble with the AirPods fitting in my ears correctly, and this was something that really annoyed me about them. Now, with the rubber tips that are actually on the AirPods Pro, you're going to find that it's going to give you a really good fit and a really good seal for listening to your music or podcasts or whatever you're listening to. And the fact that they're rubber also makes them stick in really well. And these tips are special from Apple, they are proprietary, meaning that you can't just put on any rubber tips, you have to get special ones from Apple. Like I mentioned before, they gave a better hold and fit for everyone, especially with that way of testing whether you should use the small, medium, or large tip in your ear so that you can get the best fit for yourself. And air actually passes through the whole body of the AirPod Pro itself, so there isn't any uncomfortable pressure in your ears. There's air flowing in and out of it, so you can make sure that you're getting the best feel for your AirPods Pro. There's also a shorter stem for those of you that didn't like the length of the stem the first time around. There's a force sensor on it that you have to squeeze, which I got used to in a few seconds, but for me, tapping is still preferred. However, I do like the look of the shorter stem, and overall, getting used to it isn't that big of a deal. It's also IPX4, meaning that Apple actually recognizes them for being water resistant. However, with the original AirPods, you didn't have to worry about water damage or anything like that unless you're going underneath water. So with the original AirPods, even though they weren't classified as water resistant, they definitely were. And with the AirPods Pro, you're just getting that certification from Apple that they actually are IPX4 certified. So what does that actually have to do with the AirPods Pro themselves? Well, that means that it's gonna be especially great for working out and you don't have to worry about sweat damaging the internals of the headphones themselves. Now, in terms of the audio quality, you are gonna find that they are improved over the original AirPods. The rubber tips, as I mentioned before, give a really good seal and which also really secures the audio in your ear and gives you a much better experience than the original AirPods. Not a lot of outside sound can get into your AirPods and you can just really enjoy what you're listening to. It has improved mechanics and is what you'd expect in an upgraded version. The AirPods Pro is better in my opinion than the original AirPods. However, both of them are really good for listening to audio or podcasts and they're both acceptable. It's especially perfect for music, audiobooks and podcasts, and it's just a really good experience to listen to the audio with. And with noise cancellation, it makes it even better. Now, continuing on with noise cancellation, it is amazing and it changes the way that you actually use AirPods. Having access to noise cancellation on the AirPods Pro is really a game changer. I was really surprised when I first put it on and immediately everything around me was just and I couldn't hear anything. And immediately it just clicked for me as a student to use for studying. Now, noise cancellation is great and all, but that does not mean that you're completely just cutting yourself out of the world. It does decrease everything to about 95%. However, it doesn't just cut you off from everything. You're still gonna hear people very quietly talking and it more so just reduces the audio of everything rather than cutting some things out. With the way that it works, it's really good for canceling out constant noise that it can easily predict. However, things like a sharp noise or people talking, it's gonna have a little bit more issues with that. Nonetheless, it's an amazing feature and it just reduces the noise of everything around you, making it perfect for focusing on what you're actually listening to. Transparency mode is a feature that I really like, especially for safety, because I find that a lot of my classmates or people that I go to school with, they put in headphones and then they blast their music and then when they walk, they don't watch out for anything, they're not aware of their surroundings, and I think that that's a pretty big safety issue, especially in the area where I live. 
So having that transparency mode to be able to hear the outside world clearly is a really huge benefit in that if people are talking to you or if potentially there's a car that's coming up beside you and you just need to be aware of that. Transparency mode is really good, especially for safety, I find. And finally, there's the on mode, which is especially good for saving on battery life when you're running a little bit low and you just need to conserve a little bit. Now, the battery life is just as amazing as the original AirPods. You're gonna expect to get around five hours out of these guys, but if you are using noise cancellation, it's gonna drop down to about four and a half, which honestly, I still find is amazing. As a student, I'm wearing headphones all the time and studying with music on, and I find that I can be wearing these headphones for a pretty long time. However, by taking them out whenever you're taking breaks and putting them back into their case, you can expect to get a lot of return on some of that battery life that you may have lost. Now, speaking of the case and the battery life, the case is gonna actually give you another 24 hours of battery life to go along with your AirPods Pro. The case itself, small, compact, like I mentioned before, but also charges wirelessly if you're into that. And something that I really love is that five minutes of charging equals one hour of listening time. So that's really beneficial if you just need to quickly, again, give your ears a break and you just pop it in for a quick little five minutes, take them back out and you're ready for studying again. Makes it really convenient to use and lets you have access to all those features all the time because you're never gonna run out of battery. Now, with all these different pros like battery life, the noise cancellation, this excellent body and fit that it has in your ear, what could possibly be wrong with the AirPods Pro? If you're a student, it's probably gonna be the price. Yes, this somehow seems to be the con of every product that I review, but if you're a student, price is something that you really gotta take into consideration. So, AirPods Pro, if you live in Canada, they're gonna cost you $329 before any form of tax but if you're American, I'll have the price in the description or something like that. But basically, these headphones are definitely not cheap. Even compared to the AirPods, these are way more expensive. Now, justifying them is a lot more difficult than it was with the original AirPods. With the original AirPods, you're getting a lot of convenience, functionality, which you are still getting with the AirPods Pro. There are two ways that you could really look at this price scenario. Firstly, this is a luxury. There are headphones that'll get the job done. There are headphones that will let you play music, that will let you answer calls. You can check out one that I actually reviewed at the card up there. The second scenario that you could look at is return on investment. And what I mean by that is the value that the AirPods Pro would actually give you in return. If you're gonna be using these and you're gonna, it's just a one-time purchase that you're gonna use over two, three, four years even, then that'll definitely make it worth it because you're gonna be basically bringing down that price per day, if that makes sense. However, if you're buying this as a luxury and then you're gonna be upgrading in the next couple months and you're gonna be upgrading in the next couple months, then you could see how this could get out of hand. It's a lot of spending on the high without actually reaping the benefits of that. So overall, out of all of this, I would say that the AirPods Pro for what you're getting, if you're gonna be using it consistently and long-term, which you probably will be, then it's definitely worth it because of all that value that you're gonna get. That is not to say that there aren't alternatives that you could get. So to put a bow on everything, these things may be the perfect earbuds. A lot of people say that there is some noise disturbance when they have noise cancellation on, but I think that those are just minor nitpickings from the general picture of that. You're gonna be getting some really good sound quality, you're getting an amazing feature, and you're getting some great integration with your devices. So what's to miss? Like I said, some of the things that you are losing out on, which aren't really even losses, don't hurt the experience at all and are extremely minor, and it doesn't accurately represent what you're actually buying. That all being said, the AirPods Pro, in my opinion, are definitely worth it if you're gonna use it long-term and again, get all that value out of it. And like the AirPods Pro could give you value, if this video has given you any value, it would really help my channel if you left a like and even subscribed if you want more videos just like this one. More videos are on the way, so hit the bell icon if you don't wanna miss them. I'm Matt, and thank you for watching.